magic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episode number 32, and it's the final pit stop on the road to SummerSlam, coming up on June 26th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Welcome to WWE Main Event, and boy do we have a huge main event lined up for you later this evening, as the leader of the Hurt Business, Montel. Vontavious Porter, the mastermind and the brains behind the business, take on the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton's been plowing through the Hurt Business as of late, and with Bobby Lashley on the horizon at SummerSlam, MVP is next on Orton's list. But will MVP shake up Randy Orton's plans and put the Hurt on the Apex Predator just days before his meeting with the almighty Bobby Lashley on June 26th? But we kick things off tonight with one half of the number one contenders for the WWE World Tag Team Championships and the Viking Raiders at SummerSlam in action. Rey Mysterio alongside his son Dominic set for singles action to kick us off right here tonight on Main Event. This is gonna be a good one. Cruiserweight style, strap in. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! The Mysterios have been on an absolute roll as of late. Tag team victories over Alpha Academy, Legato del Fantasma, as well as Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan recently here on main event. These guys have built building up the ranks in the tag team division, and they have earned themselves an opportunity to challenge Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, for the WWE World Tag Team Championships at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, coming up on June the 26th, live at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. But Rey Mysterio's opponent tonight, somebody who Dominic Mysterio met a couple of weeks ago here on Main Event Inside the Ring, representing Lucha House Party, Grand Metalik taking on Rey Mysterio, their second clash in their careers, and this should be no short but excitement to kick us off here tonight. And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! The Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar, have been the team to beat. Ever since defeating RK Bro for the World Tag Team Championships, they have been atop the tag team division in the WWE. But Dominic and Rey Mysterio are looking to knock them down a few pegs, coming up at SummerSlam and snag the World Tag Team Championship gold. But here tonight on Main Event, it's all about building momentum for Rey Mysterio with his son Dominic in his corner, taking, taking on Grand Metalik, excuse me, to kick us off. And as we mentioned, this is the second time these two have met in their careers. The first time here in the WWE was a number of years ago on Monday Night Raw, live from Madison Square Garden, where Rey Mysterio defeated Grand Metalik on that night. Grand Metalik is going to be looking to bounce back, not just from that loss several years ago, but from the loss against Dominic Mysterio a couple of weeks ago. And remember, Grand Metalik was also the first challenger for Santos Escobar when he originally won the Cruiserweight Championship all the way back at our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. Raymond Malik has suffered a number of big losses as of late. And now with this big opportunity against the legend Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio's mind possibly being focused on SummerSlam. This could be an opportunity for Graham Metalik to capitalize. This is a big time matchup to kick us off here tonight. And as we mentioned, still to come, there's going to be the Hurt Business member, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, taking on the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has been hunting down the Hurt Business for weeks ever since he claims Bobby Lashley was the one to put Riddle on the shelf. Randy Orton, of course, will get Bobby Lashley coming up at SummerSlam. He's gotten his hands on Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander the last number of weeks, but tonight he's got MVP in his sights. All that and more still to come up here tonight on Main Event, but we got two awesome Cruiserweight Luchador competitors in the ring right now. It's Graham and Elite sends Rey Mysterio out of the ring and to the floor. And again, it was several weeks ago here on WWE Main Event where Dominic Mysterio picked up one of the biggest wins, especially singles wins, of his career. And in an exciting matchup against Gray Metalik, Metalik took him to the limit, but Dominic got the win on that night. And it's been all the victories as of late between Dominic and Rang in singles action on top of their tag team victories that have really let them rise up the ranks 
as Grand Metalik hits a big time standing shooting star press on the outside, pressing right between the floor and Metalik's rib cage, and he fouls it up with a super kick. Metalik is coming unglued here tonight. As we mentioned, he's coming off some big losses the last number of months. He wants the big time victory as Metalik goes for the corkscrew, but Rey Mysterio, not where Metalik wanted to be. Mysterio going for the springboard. Oh, look at that! Rey Mysterio changing trajectory mid-air. A springboard changes trajectory into the crossbody, takes Grey Metalik out on the outside. Reasons like that are why Rey Mysterio is one of the greatest superstars of the luchador style of all time, one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time, and potentially the greatest mask of all time, but will he be one half of the upcoming World Tag Team Champions after SummerSlam? As we were mentioning, all the wins as of Dominic and Ray have picked up as of late. They both own singles victories over Chad Gable and Otis. A tag team victory over Alpha Academy as well. Picked up a victory on Monday Night Raw over a month ago over Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Legato Del Fantasma. Wait a minute, Grand Metalik here. Look at that picture perfect. Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Taking Ray off his feet. Metalik in a fly. Goes for the senton. Doesn't get all of it there. Crushes Ray's knees a little bit, but Metalik has been a little precautious, or I should say not precautious throughout this matchup, being a little reckless. You see he's got a little bit of an edge about him tonight. He's throwing caution in the wind. It hasn't capitalized every time. This time it does. A beautiful corkscrew for the top rope. Ray Mysterio might be down and out, but Ray gets the shoulder up. Metalik is in this. You see the edge. You see the fight that he's bringing to this matchup tonight, man. This isn't the normal Grand Metalik. They call him the king of the ropes, but tonight he's throwing a little bit of an, a little bit of everything and more at Rey Mysterio since the opening bell. I think that has to do with those big time losses that we mentioned as of late for Grand Metalik. He's looking to bounce back here tonight with a big opportunity against Rey Mysterio. And as we briefly mentioned, Rey Mysterio's mind, as well as his son Dominic's, could already be in Phoenix, Arizona for SummerSlam in that World Tag Team Championship matchup against the Dominic, Eric, and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Definitely be taking the focus for Rey Mysterio off this matchup. It could be what Grand Metal League needs to capitalize to pick up the victory here tonight. He's been in control of the last number of minutes, but Rey Mysterio is fighting back here. Follows that up with a big senton there, and Rey Mysterio is back in the driver's seat of this Cruiserweight contest. Taking Metal League off his feet, goes for the double stomp. Metal League sidesteps it. A little bit of a collar and elbow here, and now he's going to send Rey Mysterio up and over the top rope again. Grand Metalik's got Rey Mysterio down and out. Rey's got to fight back here. Grand Metalik is certainly going to be getting his hand raised here to kick us off on main event. Mysterio's down. Metalik go for the German suplex, but Rey lands on his feet. That could have been a very sketchy situation for Rey, but he follows it up with that DDT on the outside. That could have been a big time maneuver that could have taken Rey. Not just out of this match, but out of SummerSlam there. But Ray followed it up with that DDT. Ray springboard goes for the moonsault, but Metal League sidesteps it. Both men in this match going for the high risk maneuvers. And they're just not landing, at least all the time, that they're looking to, looking to land in this matchup. Metal League heading back to the outside here. Ray Mysterio trying to cut him off. So a little bit of back and forth shift in momentum these last number of minutes. Rey Mysterio trying to keep him as well as the son Dominic Mysterio. Their momentum going. And Grand Metalik is trying to take some for himself. He's raised on load a little bit, taking Metalik off his feet. Again, remember the last time we saw the Mysterios in action it was a couple of weeks ago here on WWE Main Event where they picked up that big tag team victory over Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. It was after that win that the Mysterios were officially granted the number one contendership for the World Tag Team Championships, hence why they will be meeting Eric and Ivar at SummerSlam. You know how successful they have been as Mysterio. Look at that nice springboard moonsault there. Sit down springboard moonsault. Only unloaded on Grand Metalik with these maneuvers. And Metalik, look at this, maybe in a predicament here. Get the cell phones out. Dial them up to 619. Metalik's down, Mysterio, springboard, frog splash. Ray into the cover. And Mysterio keeps the momentum going. And the father and son duo are on fire heading into the biggest party of the summer, summer slam. 
Rey Metalik putting up a hell of a fight tonight, certainly showing a different edge on loading on Rey Mysterio with all kinds of aerial offense. But in the end, the master of the 619 went back to his roots and did exactly what we saw, putting the exclamation point in this matchup and keeping the momentum going, heading into their tag team championship affair on June 26. All eyes are on June 26th, this Sunday at SummerSlam, where the Mysterios fight the Viking Raiders, who is going to leave Phoenix with the Tag Team Championships. Let's keep the action rolling on here on WWE Main Event. It's time for some tag team action as the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World at SummerSlam is going to team up with the Swerve, Isaiah Scott, to take on Legato. Del Fantasma, cruiserweight tag team matchup, keeping the ball rolling here on main event this evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds. A number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, the Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator started with the winner challenging Santos Escobar for the title at SummerSlam. Ricochet defeated Lince Dorado as well as Humberto Carrillo. He then moved on to the finals to fight Isaiah Swerve Scott. And then of course in that matchup on Monday Night Raw, the rematch from over a month ago, the one and only Ricochet took down the Swerve and now Ricochet has got himself a date set with the Cruiserweight Championship of the world on the line, his very first opportunity at that championship, one-on-one -on -one here in the WWE, as he's got the dominant Santos Escobar coming up on June 26, but his tag team partner tonight is a man he's got a lot of history with, the Swerve himself. And his partner from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve. Ricochet certainly earned his opportunity. Will it go to waste or will he make the most of it? Coming up on June 26, when he goes one on one with the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World at SummerSlam. And as we mentioned, Ricochet defeated Isaiah Swerve Scott to earn that opportunity. You remember over a month ago, in the lead up to Money in the Bank, it was Isaiah Swerve Scott who defeated Ricochet to originally earn a championship opportunity against Santos Escobar, which of course Escobar went on to retain his championship at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. A lot of respect between these two men. They fought across the ring, but tonight they're on the same side as Ricochet is looking to battle and continue his momentum on the road to SummerSlam as he gets a preview and a first look at Legado del Fantasma coming up. And there is the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Santos Escobar, who will be looking on from afar tonight because it's Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza in action. And accompanied by Santos Escobar at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde, Legado del Fantasma. Santos Escobar has been dominant ever since winning the Cruiserweight Championship at our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. He won the title in a six-pack elimination challenge, which featured both Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's retained the championship twice so far over Grand Metalik, as well as the Swerve at Money in the Bank. Now his third championship defense comes on June 26, when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting breaking news here that this match is not only going to be a big time tag team match for Ricochet coming up in the lead to SummerSlam trying to build momentum, but evidently, if Ricochet and, and Swerve win this tag team matchup, then Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza are going to be banned from ringside at the Cruiserweight Championship match at SummerSlam. That is huge news and a big opportunity for Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott here. Not having Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza in the corner for Santos Escobar can play a huge factor, and I'm sure Ricochet's got that in mind. Ricochet going for the cover too early here as he's taking the fight to Raul Mendoza. That is a huge added bonus onto this matchup. 
raising the stakes on top of just building momentum as Ricochet's looking to keep doing that there as he's been all over Mendoza since the opening bell. The Cruiserweight Championship is eyeing up his SummerSlam opponent here as he's going flying with the corkscrew. The one and only is rolling over Legato del Fantasma so far. But man, once again, that is huge stakes that have been added to this tag team matchup here tonight. Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott, if they can defeat Mendoza and Wild right here, right now on main event, then come Sunday, June 26, Ricochet, look at this here, little double team action as the Swerve takes him down. But if they can win this matchup, then Mendoza and Wild going to be nowhere to be found in Phoenix at SummerSlam. It's going to be an even playing field if they can get the tag team matchup done here this evening. Huge stakes that have been added to this affair. Mendoza and Wild, the pressure is on them now to especially pick up this victory, not only for the sake of Santos Escobar's momentum heading into SummerSlam, but also so they can assist their leader in the corner coming up in Phoenix. As we now move to Joaquin Wilde and Isaiah Swerve Scott in this matchup right now. As the Cruiserweight Champion looks on at a man he has defeated in the past and the man who is upcoming this Sunday in Santos Escobar's future. And Isaiah, look at this. Nice slam takes down Joaquin Wilde. Isaiah's looking good here. Raul Mendoza trying to take a shot at the Swerve, taking him off the apron. You got to think about Isaiah Swerve Scott. I mean, he lost that number one contenders match to Ricochet a number of weeks ago. And as he's going into the cover here, tag team win, not just yet. But he did lose that number one contenders match a few weeks ago to Ricochet. But Isaiah Swerve Scott's got to have it in the back of his head. If not only he can win this matchup here alongside Ricochet, but now with the stakes that have been added, if he can assist Ricochet in getting Mendoza and Wild away from ringside come SummerSlam, Ricochet might be keen on awarding Swerve the first opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship if he can defeat Santos Escobar at SummerSlam. A lot of stakes in this matchup regarding the Cruiserweight Championship match at SummerSlam and throughout it. As Ricochet and Mendoza are back in here, Springboard goes for the Phoenix Splash. Mendoza getting out of the way. Santos Escobar's gonna like what he sees on that crash in Burrow Mare. I'm sure he would love for Ricochet not to walk into Phoenix, Arizona. A 100%. Santos got all the tools to get it done in the ring. He is no slouch. He's the cruiserweight champion for a reason. We know Santos Escobar doesn't mind taking a shortcut or two. We've seen him in the past attack his opponents after the matchup. Including that matchup against Kashida. Recently here on main event with the post beat down after that. Ricochet. Nice hangman's neck breaker on Joaquin Wilde there. And the one and only... Looking to showcase his talents here. Joaquin's down and out. Ricochet. Moon salt. This time it's on Wild. Into the cover. Could they be getting the victory over Legato? They will not yet. Ricochet looking to keep the momentum going. Nice pump kick takes Joaquin Wild off his feet. And I cannot wait for June 26th. We're going to be live right here at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. For the biggest pay-per-view in universe mode yet. Nine matches signed that we're going to allude to in just a moment. WWE SummerSlam. The biggest party of the summer. And it is going to be a spectacular evening. Be sure to join us for the live premiere. 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here on the YouTube channel. Mendoza back in the ring with Isaiah Swerve Scott. Looking to keep the momentum going. As Mendoza heads over to the top rope. Isaiah going to take the moment to breathe here. I'm sure Santos Escobar is feeling the pressure right now. He wants Legato in his corner come Phoenix. And he wants Ricochet at his weakest. And a nice kick. Takes Mendoza off his feet. Isaiah's looking good right now. The majority of this match has been in the corner of the swerve and the one and only, but Mendoza looking to change the pace. Isaiah getting folded inside out off that maneuver from Raul Mendoza. This could be the victory. If Legado del Fantasma wins, they will be joining their leader in Phoenix, but Isaiah gets the shoulder up. 
I'm gonna make the tag. No, not gonna make the tag. Joaquin Wild. Instead, Isaiah Swerve. Scott with that pop up tornado DDT. A signature maneuver out of the Swerve. Santos Escobar. He's got his eyes keen on this matchup. He sees what's coming to him at SummerSlam. Isaiah tagging to the number one contender. Ricochet's in here now. Another double team maneuver is on the way for these two. Ricochet. Grab it a hold, looking to send a message to the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. He's got him up, he brings him down. Cradles him up for the cover. Ricochet gonna get the victory here. Mendoza gets the shoulder up in the nick of time. Isaiah takes out Wild. The, the brawl has breaking down, this tag team match is breaking down. Isaiah's taking care of Joaquin Wild. Ricochet on the other hand, takes Mendoza off his feet yet again. Oh wait a minute, the one and only's heading somewhere where he's extremely comfortable. Shooting star press for the number one contender. Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott pick up the victory. And not just any victory, but a victory that earns Ricochet a one-on-one -on -one fair fight. Coming up at SummerSlam, no Joaquin Wilde, no Raul Mendoza in the corner for Santos Escobar. Ricochet is going to have the chance that he earned. The one-on-one -on -one match that he earned a number of weeks ago. And there will be nowhere to run for Santos Escobar. Here are your winners, Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott. Momentum is clearly in the corner of the number one contender. But will Ricochet be leaving Phoenix as the champion over the reign of Legato Del Fantasma? Roll on past Phoenix. Coming up on June 26th, this Sunday, it's the biggest party of the summer in our biggest universe mode pay-per-view to date. It's WWE SummerSlam, and it's a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, live at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And nine huge matches are signed for the event, including the man you just saw, the one and only Ricochet, the number one contender, looks to top of the leader of Legato Del Fantasma for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The World Tag Team Championships will be on the line as well, as Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, take on the number one contenders, Dominic and Reyes. Mysterio. Both teams have been in a roll. Who walks out with the gold in Phoenix? The Intercontinental Championship is up for grabs in a triple threat matchup when Sheamus defends against the top two challengers, Drew McIntyre, as well as the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. How about the WWE Women's Championship? Bianca Belair defends against number one contender Shotzi. Their third meeting. Bianca's won twice, but will the third time be the charm for Shotzi? Austin Theory, the future takes on the franchise, John Cena, in his return to the WWE at a first time ever meeting. It's an extreme rules match. The charismatic enigma looks to close the chapter on the demon Finn Balor one on one. A huge grudge will be settled inside the confines of a cold hard steel cage when Mustafa Ali finally gets his hands on the Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins. The WWE Championship's on the line in the main event when the phenomenal AJ Styles defends against the man cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase, the Rated R Superstar Edge. And then of course the grudge matchup between the almighty Bobby Lashley, the member of the Hurt Business, taking on the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, who's been out for vengeance for weeks. He wants the almighty Lashley and he gets a one-on-one -on -one this Sunday at SummerSlam. But it is time for your main event. Randy Orton looks to keep checking off the list of Hurt Business members. Will MVP be next in the line for the Apex Predator? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing RK Bro. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy. Over a month ago on Monday Night Raw, upon arriving to the arena, Riddle was attacked in the parking lot of the arena. No one knows who attacked Riddle, but Randy Orton, his tag team partner, one half of RK Bro, believes that the blame is to point at the Hurt Business, but not specifically all of them, specifically the almighty Bobby Lashley. 
Bobby Lashley denies those claims, but Randy Orton, on the other hand, has been out for vengeance. He has gone through the list of the Hurt Business members, one by one. Shelton Benjamin, he laid out with not one, but two RKOs. Cedric Alexander, he's sent for a ride from a top rope RKO. Tonight, he gets MVP. This Sunday, he gets the match he's been waiting for. He's looking for that revenge. He's looking for that vengeance, not just for himself, but on behalf of his tag team partner, Riddle. Orton wants the fight with the almighty Bobby Lashley. And originally, Lashley wasn't interested in giving Orton what he wanted. But it all started after Lashley said that Orton was going to get the hurt put on him for putting his name in his mouth. And now the two men are finally going to collide. This Sunday, one-on-one, -on -one, for the first time in several years, Lashley and Orton, one-on-one. -on -one. But tonight, Orton goes against this man, Montel Vontavious Porter, former United States champion, former tag team champion, and member of the Hurt Business. The mastermind of the Hurt Business, the brains of the franchise, MVP versus Randy Orton, your final bell before SummerSlam. And his opponent, representing the Hurt Business from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds, MVP. Whether MVP and Lashley like it or not, Shelton Benjamin wasn't able to get the job done and stop Randy Orton in his tracks. Neither was Cedric Alexander. In MVP's mind, he wants to stop Randy Orton before he can even get to the almighty Bobby Lashley coming up this Sunday. MVP is going to be looking to not only put the hurt on Randy Orton and make him pay for putting the name of the hurt business in his mouth in the first place, but MVP is going to be looking to take Randy Orton out of SummerSlam all in all. He wants Randy Orton not even to make it to Phoenix, Arizona. He wants Bobby Lashley to be off the card and have his night off, if you will, and not even have to bother with the Viper Randy Orton. But nonetheless, two different vendettas, but only one main event as our final bell sounds before the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And Randy Orton immediately taking the fight to MVP as he has done in all of these contests taking on the Hurt Business the last number of weeks. Randy Orton's been cold, he's been calculated, he's been vicious and brutal. He beat the hell out of Shelton Benjamin. Cedric Alexander took Randy Orton to a great wrestling matchup, but in the end, Randy Orton took him for a ride off the top rope of the RKO. But the styles of MVP and Randy Orton clashing, I got a feeling this is going to be more of a brawl than anything. Especially with the vendettas in mind, with the agendas in mind, as Randy Orton... He's looking to stop MVP dead in his tracks here. He doesn't even want MVP to be in the corner of Bobby Lashley come Sunday. Norton grabbing a hold here. Already sending MVP to the outside. Again, I'm sure he's looking to put the hurt on MVP as has been the ag agenda, excuse me, for the hurt business over Orton. And I'm sure Riddle's been at home resting his injuries, watching Randy Orton go through the hurt business these last number of weeks. And I'm sure the Viper is doing one good for the one half of RK Bro. Remember, they had some, some rocky moments over the last number of months, losing the World Tag Team Championships, losing their rematch for the World Tag Team Championships. They lost their tag team matchup against MVP and Bobby Lashley. There's been some moments between Randy Orton and Riddle where we saw a little bit of dissension, but I gotta say, Randy Orton, if he truly didn't believe that Bobby Lashley and the Hurt Business were involved, or were the ones that put Riddle on the shelf. With everything Randy Orton's been through, I do not see him spending so much time and effort just to battle the Hurt Business. It's not what Randy Orton does. Randy Orton is a, a goal setter. He chases championships, he chases victory. He doesn't chase these cold, hard brawls. At least at this stage in his career. He's been going at it with the Hurt Business. So if Randy Orton believes that Bobby Lashley was the one that put Riddle on the shelf, well then so be it. Because Randy Orton is clearly has his reasons to believe so. And he's clearly been on the agenda as of late. Of course, the reason Randy Orton believes Bobby Lashley was the one that Riddle, excuse me, was the one that put Riddle on the shelf all dates back to weeks before the Money in the Bank pay-per-view where Riddle defeated Bobby Lashley in that Money in the Bank qualifier. And it wasn't just the Money in the Bank qualifier 
for Bobby Lashley, but it was his second big loss in a row after he lost the WWE Championship to AJ Styles all the way back at Backlash. Randy Orton believes after that loss to Riddle that that just must have sent Bobby Lashley over the edge. Lashley claims that the Hurt Business got what they wanted, their win back in that tag team matchup that we discussed. And it was MVP and Lashley, take it on RK, bro. And Lashley believes that Randy Orton may have been involved, taking out Riddle. But again, as we mentioned, I do not believe Randy Orton would have spent all this time running down the Hurt Business if that were the case. As MVP takes a signature maneuver here with that elbow dropped to the Viper. Orton's still in it. Orton taking the fight to MVP as we've seen him do week after week against members of the Hurt Business. And so Randy Orton's feeling amped up. He's feeling the adrenaline pumping. MVP is the last man he's got to get through. And then it's all eyes on the almighty Bobby Lashley. And you remember that matchup between Randy Orton and Cedric Alexander recently on Raw. Remember the almighty Lashley hitting the ring afterwards to send a message to Randy Orton and lay him out in the middle of the ring. So I'm sure Randy Orton's got that dwelling on his mind as well as he takes it to the air and lays out MVP at ringside. Orton's got the agenda of wanting to avenge the attack on Riddle. But now the attack on himself, he's not going to get retribution on Bobby Lashley. It's all going to come to a halt this Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern time right here on the YouTube channel for the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Nine huge matches signed. All the championships are going to be up for grabs. Several grudge matches. It's a huge card. You are not going to want to miss the live premiere. 4 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday, June 26th. It's MVP. Maybe second guessing it here. He's going to try to get in the ring, but Randy Orton's right there to grab a hold. Possibly knock the lights out of Montel Vontavious Porter. And Orton going to send MVP for a ride there. And the Viper has been feeling it this last minute or so. Really getting to his place, beating down MVP. MVP, you know, he's trying to cut off Randy Orton again. You got to imagine the agenda of MVP is to make sure Orton can't make it to SummerSlam. Or at least at the moment. That doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Randy Orton grabbing a hold. MVP still trying to fight back. Goes for the shot, but Randy Orton cuts him off with a shot of his own. And MVP is not super often, he should be super active that often inside the squared circle. But I'm sure he looked to came out here with an agenda tonight, but Orton don't care. RKO out of nowhere to MVP. And Randy Orton puts the final nail in the coffin, at least for now, against the Hurt Business. He's got one more man in mind, and that's the almighty Bobby Lashley. Orton gets his hands on Lashley this Sunday, June 26th, 4 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the live premiere on the YouTube channel. Nine huge matches signed for the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Will Randy Orton continue to avenge Riddle, or will the almighty Bobby Lashley take down the Viper? Thank you for joining us tonight, and we will see you this Sunday at SummerSlam! Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.